There are actually two types of beta decay, beta minus and beta plus decay. In this lesson, we're only going to look at beta minus decay. We know of course that atoms are made of protons, neutrons and electrons. However, if an atom has too many neutrons in its nucleus, one of the neutrons can literally change into a proton and an electron, and the electron flies off at really high speeds. This electron is called a beta minus particle. Let's look at an example. We saw in episode 1 that there are three naturally occurring isotopes of carbon. Carbon-14, which accounts for only about one in every trillion carbon atoms on Earth, is a beta minus emitter. Let me show you a close-up of a carbon-14 atom's nucleus, with protons in blue and neutrons in red, duplicate it, and examine what happens when it decays. In beta minus decay, one of the neutrons turns into a proton and an electron. The electron is emitted from the nucleus at a speed of about 0.9 the speed of light, about 270,000 kilometers per second, which is extremely fast, of course, and it is called a beta minus particle. A beta minus particle is literally identical to an ordinary electron. However, since as soon as it's created in the decay process, it is emitted at such high speeds, it pushes the electrons of other atoms away. Remember, electrons repel each other because they're all negatively charged. And this causes those atoms to become ions. So a beta minus particle or beta minus radiation, both expressions are fairly common and they both mean the same thing, is a form of ionizing radiation, just like alpha radiation is. Let's watch the beta minus decay process again, and then I'll show you how to write the nuclear equation for this decay. One of the neutrons changes into a proton and an electron, and the electron, which we refer to as a beta minus particle, flies off at an enormous speed. We've seen that the carbon-14 nucleus can be written as 14,6c. Beta minus particles are given the Greek symbol beta minus, the minus sign is a superscript, or E minus, E for electron. When I handwrite the beta symbol, I use a curvy style like my Greek school teachers taught me way back in the day. However, you can also write it starting from below the line and then moving up and around. In atomic notation, beta minus particles are written as 0 minus 1 beta or 0 minus 1 e. The minus 1 refers to the fact that they have a negative charge. Up until now, I've said that the 6 of, say, 14,6c refers to the number of protons, which is true, but each proton has a charge of 1 plus, so the atomic number of 6 also refers to the number of positive charges in the nucleus. The minus 1, therefore, in 0 minus 1 beta, refers to the fact that the particle has a charge of minus 1. The 0 means that the combined number of protons and neutrons is 0. So what particle has a charge of minus 1 and is not made up of protons and neutrons? Well, an electron. So let's write the nuclear equation. There are 6 protons and 8 neutrons in the nucleus of a carbon-14 atom, which here is the parent nucleus. A beta minus particle is emitted, which we can write in, and we can then determine what the daughter nucleus is. One of the neutrons has turned into a proton, so the nucleus now has one more proton than it had originally. Instead of six, it's got seven. And what type of an atom has seven protons? If we look at the periodic table, we can see that it's a nitrogen atom. We can now write in an N. Now the combined number of protons and neutrons is still the same, so we can write 14 here. The carbon-14 atom has turned into a nitrogen-14 atom, and a beta-minus particle has been emitted. That's the nuclear equation for the beta-minus decay of carbon-14. Notice that 6 equals 7 plus minus 1, and that 14 equals 14 plus 0. The mathematics is pretty simple. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from the third episode of the Shedding Light on Nuclear Radiation series, Beta Minus and Gamma Radiation. The Shedding Light on Nuclear Radiation series teaches students what nuclear radiation is and how humans have harnessed its awesome power. 
In episode 3 of the series, we look at what beta minus and gamma radiation are and at how they are put to good use in medicine and in industry. Like all of Liakos Educational Media's programs, the beta minus and gamma radiation program comes with an outstanding worksheet for students. Click on the link in the description below to go to the Liakos Educational Media website where you can download the worksheet and also find out how to watch the whole program. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.